Hi folks, Linda here. I'm back with uh, my update on my picks for the weekend. Uh, let's see, I picked up um, at one auction a couple of watches and a pair of earrings. Uh, I got all three for six dollars. Uh, one of the watches actually is a Gucci watch. I wasn't sure when I bought it whether it was uh, authentic or a fake, but um, I've been able to confirm that it is authentic. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. I took it uh, into the watch shop, got a new battery put in. We waited f to see if the hands were going to move because there's no second hand and uh, it's not working. But they do still sell uh, either for parts or maybe uh, watch repair people um, will buy broken ones to fix them. So I'll still uh, have it up on eBay and uh, should do better than the $2 I paid for it. The other watch is still new in case guess watch. And they do very well, so uh, I should do uh, much better than my $2 on that as well. I'm pretty happy with that. And then a, a pair of earrings that I am going to send off to a friend of mine. Uh, that she, uh, a pair of sterling uh, earrings uh, with the feathers. Not actual feathers, this sterling silver feathers. So she'll like those. Uh, let's see, at a uh, church rummage sale, um, I was only able to pick up uh, some Bibles. This is the first time I've uh, ever picked up Bibles. What I got here was a couple of early 1900 um, Bibles. One, this small one, has got an inscription in it uh, from the person giving it to her niece. And it says, I don't know if you can get this, but uh, it says November 8th, 1919. So the funny thing with this one is the print on it is so tiny. I don't know how people ever read that. So, the other Bible, I cannot find a date on it at all. Um, it looks almost as old as the other one, or at least as old. Um, but I have nothing to uh, give an exact date on it. They're both in pretty rough condition, the binding and stuff, but I um, picked them up anyway for 50 cents each. The other two I picked up are um, the uh, Mormon version, or the Mormon Holy Bible, and the Book of Mormon. Uh, the Book of Mormon is from 1982, and the Bible is from 1979, I believe. Uh, the Bible's in real good condition, and the Book of Mormon is in good condition, except for between a couple of the early pages, the binding is, is breaking. So I put them up on lots, uh, the two, uh, these two Bibles, the older Bibles together, and the two Mormon um, ones uh, together in lots. So we'll see how they do. Got them all for 50 cents each. And then the only other thing that I picked up at another auction was this uh, Erector set. I believe it's all complete from what I can tell. Um, all the, the, the metal pieces are in here and the screws. This, um, the wheels to the motorcycle have never been taken out of the package, so it's obvious they never built it. And then it's got the instruction, the instruction uh, book and um, it doesn't sell for a lot on eBay. At the same sale, I picked up this little Lego um, piece, Atlantis. Also, it only sells for 2 or $3, so what I'm going to do is save these. And I'll put together a toy drunk drawer or a lot or something like that. And uh, once I get a few more things that I could put into it and sell them that way. So uh, that's about it on my pickups, uh, my sales this weekend. I'm doing uh, pretty well. All of those Xbox games that I picked up at the auction last week have or are going to sell to uh, sold with the Buy It Now. And the other two um, have bids and uh, will be wrapping up here in a couple of hours. So all of those sold and I got them all for $5 and I'm gonna make well over, oh, I haven't added it up, but it's gonna be well over $50. So uh, that was nice. And uh, uh, that's about it for this week. And I've been watching everyone's videos. Great job, everyone. Everyone's getting uh, some pretty nice pickups. So keep up the good work, and we'll talk to you next week.